Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15. We're like 40 some days away from the release of the first beta of iOS 15, which should be really, really exciting. Now, another thing that will be really exciting is if you leave a like on this video, leave a like for the algorithm that will help the channel a lot. So I would really appreciate if you could take a moment to leave a like on this video. So what we're going to do on this video, we're going to take a look at the top 10 features that have been reported to come to iOS 15. Now, the good thing is that these features have now been reported by multiple sources, which all of them are very reliable. So you can expect most of these features to come to iOS 15. If not on the first beta, we should see them on the next few betas, or if not on the initial public release of iOS 15, we should see them come to iOS 15 in the next few updates. All right, first of all, we're talking about the home screen icons. Those are the same since iOS 7 and nothing has changed. I know we want new icons, we want to get a fresh new look on our devices and looks like Apple is making that happen this year with iOS 15. This is a report now coming from multiple sources and we're getting redesigned icons on the home screen. But maybe not what we expected, but Apple is just bringing the same look that we get on Mac OS Big Sur to iOS as well. Now I hope they will design them a bit better than they did on Mac OS Big Sur because when you take a look at those icons on Mac OS Big Sur, it looks like something that someone just did in a hurry, just like they did with the icon of the battery on the settings of Mac OS Big Sur. So we're finally getting redesigned home screen icons with iOS 15, of course, with the inspiration from Mac OS Big Sur, but hopefully they will look much better. Next up, we're talking about home screen widgets, one of the biggest updates coming to iOS in the last few years. So on iOS 14, we got the home screen widgets. They're cool and all that. They will display a few informations here and there, but they are not really that useful. I, I feel like Apple is just testing the waters with iOS 14 and the home screen widgets, and they're seeing the interaction of basically the reaction of people and with iOS 15, we should see the full potential of these widgets. Now reports say that iOS 15 will have widgets that will be more interactable, like you can do actually stuff with them. So right here, I have a few widgets. I actually, I have two different widgets from widget, which basically display a ton of information. They're really cool, but you cannot do anything with them. So right here, you can see I have a battery one. Why not just tap there to maybe go to low power mode or do something like that? Or here, turn off Bluetooth or Wi-Fi directly from here. This doesn't work on iOS 14 and the new reports that say that they will be more interactable on iOS 15, hopefully they write, and this is a feature that we can see on iOS 15. Another thing that has been reported is that there will be also different sizes of widgets on iOS 15. We can expect Apple to add more sizes, like you can see right here, the one by two, these are really awesome, or the one by four, this will also would be really great, displaying like stuff like your brightness maybe, or your volume, stuff like that, that would be really, really useful. So two different features for the widgets, more interactable widgets, and also different widget sizes expected to come to iOS 15. Another thing that has been reported by multiple sources is that the control center will be redesigned on iOS 15, and it will take inspiration from the control center on Mac OS Big Sur. Now, this is the exact same control center that we have on Mac OS Big Sur. I just basically screenshotted it and placed it right here to just take a look and have an idea of how it could look like. Maybe it won't look like this at all, but it will just take inspiration from iOS, basically from Mac OS Big Sur. And I also have here, you can see this widget by widget, it's basically kind of the same theme. It might also look something like that, which looks really, really nice in my opinion. So we will have to wait and see how Apple will implement that, but it actually looks really good. And I really like a more compact control center that we have now with iOS 14. Next up is the lock screen. You can expect a redesigned lock screen on iOS 15. This also has been reported by multiple sources. Something like an always on display or even the way you manage your notifications or the way iOS 15 shows no you, your notifications on the lock screen, that will change and we will have a total redesign on the lock screen of iOS 15. This is very, very welcomed. We didn't have a change on the lock screen 
for the last few years and that of course will be really cool now this is a screenshot from a city at tweak which basically shows you the always on display and a few icons of apps here maybe apps that you have notifications on or maybe even apps that you can quickly launch from the lock screen we don't know how apple will exactly implement that but we know that there is an always on display coming to ios 15 as well as a redesigned lock screen now recent report on iOS 15 from Bloomberg is really interesting and shows a new feature that is expected to come on the notifications on iOS 15. Now basically according to them you will be able to set different statuses on iOS 15. Based on that status that you set Apple will actually just send you the notifications. So notifications will appear based on your status. If you're driving a car or maybe sleeping or maybe working out or something like that, you will have different statuses that you can set. And then of course, notifications will be delivered based on those statuses that you set on iOS. This is also an amazing feature that is expected to come to iOS 15 alongside with audio, auto messages that are expected to come on iOS 15 as well. So it will be basically able to actually automatically reply to someone based on your status. So let's say you're driving a car, your iPhone knows that you can just automatically reply to someone I'm driving or something like that. I'm working out whatever you're doing. So actually on iOS 15, this is probably will be a huge feature that Apple will push with iOS 15, the ability to set different statuses for your iPhone that of course will change the way notifications come probably other things as well and also be able to send automatic messages to someone based on what you're doing. New features also have been reported for iMessage. Apple is looking to make iMessage more like a social networking app, which probably they will, and the ability to see your status and all that. Apple is moving towards that with iMessage, so they probably want to compete more with the Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp and all those like social media networking apps or whatever they are called. Look to see a lot of new features on iMessage with iOS 15. This is from the latest report by Bloomberg, which of course, a hugely reliable source when it comes to Apple stuff, hardware or software. Now with iOS 14, Apple has introduced the ability to set third-party apps as default apps. You can do that for email and browsers as well. So right here, you can see we're on the Chrome settings and we can use Chrome as our default browser. You can do the same from, for mail, but you cannot do that for music or maybe any like messaging apps, anything you want. Apple probably will bring new sports for new things that you can do with the default setting apps. Maybe like something like music should be an option. I hope that's an option or maybe even maps. Those are like two ones that are really, really huge. And you can expect Apple to do something like that. Give you the ability on iOS 15 to actually be able to choose more default apps. And last but not least, very important, of course, for the security of your data, iOS 15 will also include new anti-data collection features. Now with iOS 14.5, we get the tracking features basically shows you every time an app tries to track you, you can stop that from happening and you can see it right here. With iOS 15, Apple is bringing more of these features and that's from a report by Bloomberg. Basically, Apple is going huge on security like they always do. And that's of course why a lot of people choose to use iOS over other operating systems, which of course are not that that secure as iOS is. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, and I will see you on the next one.